It should hopefully be obvious from this uh, set of answer choices that this question is testing punctuation. And um, for many people, commas produce a sort of anxiety because there's just so many comma rules and they seem to be so complicated and varied that it's hard to know exactly when commas should be used. Um, that is true. That commas are annoying. And on the SAT, luckily, because it's multiple choice, we can think much more about like testing the answers and thinking about commas that way rather than having like a blank sentence and needing to come up with it on our own. But the first thing I would test here is not the commas at all. I see that choice D is inserting a period into this. And so, yeah, commas are used to separate different clauses and sentences, and there's different rules for that. But a period is a much clearer punctuation mark. It has one clear purpose. Move a sentence separate a sentence, put the, the, some big break in between two sentences. So I can test that. I can read these lines and think, okay, do I, I, I have two sentences that need to be separated or do I have just one sentence and then commas can usually show us where breaks in that sentence are, but we're really looking for those complete ideas. So as I'm reading this, that's all I'm thinking about. So let's just try it. I'll read the words from the blank because the punctuation is changing, but the words are not. In 2017, artists Isabel and Ruben Toledo redesigned the costumes and sets for the Miami City Ballet's production of The Nutcracker. That sounds like a sentence, right? You notice my, my pause there seems natural. I, I, I feel like I completed a thought. So basically, all of this, all the way to The Nutcracker, is a sentence that could exist on its own. The, the in 2017, notice I'm not highlighting because that's an extra piece at the beginning. The comma is telling us that. We can think of it as part of that sentence, but structurally speaking, it's extra, and so it's not really part of the core grammatical sentence that I'm interested in. Now let's continue. And I do notice that I have another comma right here after reviewers. So I have another one of these comma clauses with according to reviewers. And so, you know, that's itself just either an interruption or an intro clause to the next sentence. So that part doesn't really interest me. It's what comes after it where I'm kind of saying like, okay, does that also sound like a complete sentence that could stand on its own? So let's listen. According to reviewers, the Toledo's designs helped infuse the production with elements of Miami's Latin American culture. Yeah. This part here sounds like a sentence. The Toledo's designs helped infuse the production with elements of Miami's Latin American culture. We have a subject, we have a verb. The Toledo's designs helped infuse, right? So helped is the verb, the designs are the subject. In the first part, the yellow part, uh, redesigned is the verb, and Isabel and Ruben Toledo, that's the subject. So those two things are sentences. There are special rules in English grammar about how we connect sentences, and a comma by itself is not enough. If one of these choices had a comma and maybe like a conjunction, like the word and, then maybe we could make this work. But without that extra piece, all of these commas are gonna be insufficient to connect these ideas. Even if we wanted to include the according to uh, reviewers part with the, with the yellow instead of the pink, we would still somewhere need that comma or that period to, to break the yellow and the pink apart. So only D makes sense because it's the only one that provides the necessary punctuation to have two complete standalone sentences. So that is always where we should look first. Uh, sentence structure is what really all punctuation questions are about, but it's usually better to think in terms of the, the separate sentences first First, and then if we need to think about how commas get placed, we can do that. But like I said at the beginning, commas have lots of rules. They're a little harder to pinpoint. So if we can do all the work of the question thinking about simpler rules for things like periods, then we're probably going to get more questions right because we won't get overwhelmed by all these decisions that don't actually matter. This is a decision about a period versus a comma, not about where commas go, just the period.